Hello? I haven't uploaded the video a couple of months. I'm fine. I'm surviving. I was just busy with my work and didn't have much time in my spare time to take video. I've been taking many multimeter video, but today I decided to uh, take a video because it's New Year holiday, one week holiday in Japan. And I have a, I took a reasonable rest. The reason I decided to take a video for, uh, for this, this is hard disk recorder, which is recording television from satellite or regular cable TV or television program into the hard disk. But it also has a BD drive. And the B, I, this BD drive, I, after I've been using about, I really don't remember, six or seven years, it started to have a problem writing program to BDRE uh, media. And I've been opening up a few times, tweaking the angle of the laser in the pickup inside the disk drive. If you open up these one, uh, any of the BD or DBD uh, drive, it has a two, normally it has two screws. One screw for a um, um, string of the laser and another screw uh, around it is to adjust angle of the pickup and I've been adjusting angle of the pickup with uh, many different ways and I was able to temporarily fix the uh, problem not able to write the BDRE media but the distance between between I need to readjust laser angle was keep getting shorter and shorter so I decided to buy a new another new one it's a second hand one and replace the entire BD recorder instead of tweaking the uh, laser uh, um, angle. And um, one thing that's interesting for this unit is it, it shows a little bit of old sign of Sony product. It has an arrow for the screws for the servicing the equipment. I saw this arrow for most of the Sony product in 1980 or 1990s when I used to open up in every single equipment in my home or or friend's home or whatever it is and Panasonic, Sharp, uh, Casio, Sony and etc etc they used, they used to have a distinct little bit of difference when you open up the equipment and one of the difference of the Sony was like old a school radio made in the United States in 1940s or something and and this one it has so and most of the modern Sony product it's pretty much similar with all Japanese manufacturer but when I open up it's it's almost impossible to distinguish in just watching inside inside whether it's made by Sony or Panasonic or any other Japanese electronic company Probably it's uh, how they manufacture be started to become um, similar to each other. But in these, still this one when it has a little bit of difference as if it was a long time ago. So I'm going to open up. I'm happy having a time and holiday and working on this kind of stuff and and yeah I think I need yeah I need to I need to unscrew the screw on the side too and it's not a regular plus or Philips uh, screw. Just a minute. When I was little, when I opened up these equipment, I used to get puzzled where the screw was before. And the, my way was to remember how to, how to put which screw back together because oftentimes, uh, uh, assembling again and f f finding a one or two screw uh, laying around forgetting to um, putting putting it somewhere inside is really annoying because you need to open up the entire case again so one of the my way was 
when I take off the screw, um, leave it as in the in the, in the square shape where the screw was on on the table, um, like this. So like four screw where I took off, and I took two screw from the side. But um, yeah, um, probably many people have a different ways. And then it seems like I need to take, remove uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five notches. Then it will slide off front. It's like an old days VCR. Okay. I made a little bit of a cardboard cut it with my scissors um, this doesn't fit will this fit yeah I think so yeah I, well not the difference between pan um, Sony and other product was Sony development was re seems like really good and especially was considered even with um, analog area even it was digital product so probably x rf engineer or how to open it how x rf engineer or analog design engineer was working on the digital product who was probably working on the radio or the television and does it slide off now Oh, there is more screws. But then, but then assembly in this, uh, comparing the product between the Sony and other Japanese product, the assembly line did not, that was not, did not seem to have a strong support from the company comparing to other Japanese company, for example, uh, Sharp and Casio, especially their cut creator like these one, or this is Canon. This is this is Casio. When you open up, it's really optimized for uh, um, easiness of the assembly, assembly, and uh, in the place of the screw and all the stuff is really um, thought well. For, for easiness, and, um, the the, but the um Sony was, did not seem to yes now it came off, Sony product mostly it did not seem to trying to reduce uh, assembly on the assembly line. Many already now it has two screws and it has one two three four five six seven eight nine nine screws already just to take off the plastic cover, now uh, and an uh, aluminum cover. And now there's one more cover sealing entirely. And there's a arrow. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And is this the arrow too? No. Six, seven. Yeah, so seven. Seven arrow for the screws. So this is top cover came out. Oh, this is pretty nice. I, ha I haven't opened up for a few while, so this looks pretty nice. It has a little bit of the dust, so I'm going to um, take off the dust. But when the most of the Sony product, when there's a wiring, it used to uh, go all over the place, and uh, and as if it's tangled up and stuck, stuck uh, stick on the board with a sticky tape. While most of the other Japanese manufacturer was, the cable was aligned 90 degrees inside the chassis, um, and, then, and 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 tied together, uh, or something like that. So, and with less screws. So I will, I will remove the dust inside first. <laughs> 